All right, I'm gonna show you how to do a hard stop. And I know that I spoke earlier about always using a fade out cue, because fade out looks so much better than a hard stop. But there is some cases when a hard stop actually looks a lot better. And uh, you don't have to try to w worry about the sound tech hitting stop on the uh, on cue lab at the right time. You can program the hard um, stop automatically uh, using a group cue. So I'm gonna show you what this cue would look like without a hard stop. And remember, this would be your backdrop, all right? Now that's actually a looping graphic. I think the graphic only lasts about four or five seconds and you don't want that crazy graphic still happening at the end of that. And if you fade it out, it's not gonna fit the music or the, uh, the act at all because in my case, there's a really big hard ending to that and the lights change really quick. So I want that graphic to just stop dead. So to do that, you're just gonna grab a physical stop cue. You're gonna drop it right into that group and if you watch my first series, you know a little bit already about um, uh, timeline cues. So we're going to go and highlight the hard stop ending group. And uh, we're going to go to the timeline. And we're going to find where that stop is. Now, that's our stop cue. And we're going to drag it right to the very end of that audio track. And if we zoom in we can find out exactly where that should go and I think that's just about right. So we're gonna try that track one more time and see what it looks like now. So it just, that fits the routine so much better because the entire backdrop just snaps. It's a visual change. It looks so much better. You could also do a great effect in here where you actually grab your logo, put your logo um, right there, and we can go once again to the main uh, group and find where that logo is. Let's zoom out so we don't have to scroll that forever. And we're gonna grab the logo and put the logo to start at the same exact time that the music ended. So now there's a, another drastically uh, different visual to go to. So we're gonna try this this time. So that just is such a visual it, it, I mean, those kind of cues were going to give you an applause break whether the trick was good or not, <laughs> which is why I use them. And you don't even need to have a, a lighting cue change to that. The visual is so powerful with the video that it feels like you've changed so much in the theater and, and it's just this thing in the background that works phenomenal. I've been using it for years and trust me, those things do work.